Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. It is time for more Upcycled Fashions. In this episode, I love calling it an episode, I am going to be doing what I would like to say is simple, but you know me, it can get complicated. I have only done this once, and I did it on a small scale for a dress for Skylar when she was just a wee little thing. And by the time I saw her next, she was completely outgrown or I had forgotten where I put it or something. She never got to wear it. But what it is, is you just take a t-shirt. This happens to be a brand new t-shirt that I got at Dollar Tree for one dollar. Picked a black one. It says that it is a ladies medium. I don't know. I don't know when I would have ever fit into that as a medium, but maybe so. And it is 100% cotton. So I am going to take this shirt and I will be sewing on fabric at the bottom. I'll be making the shirt shorter. We will turn it into a dress, a nice summery dress. I went into my stash and I found this stretchy fabric. You want stretchy fabric for this. This happens to be a really nice four-way stretch. Oh, I found the tag here. It is stretch mat jersey. The name is Aqua and Coral and it's 100% polyester. And look at the print. I just love it. It's so summery. And look at all the black in there. It's just going to go so nice with the shirt. That's pretty much all I have to say about it because I have to sit down and figure out what I'm going to do. The one that I played with, like I said, on a small scale was several years ago and I really don't remember what I did, but I'm sure I will come up with something. I just know that if you're going to do this, you're going to need stretch fabric, also stretch t-shirt. You don't want you know, the whole thing has to go over your head and hips. So everything has to be stretchy and you'll need to be sewing with zigzag. So if you have the capabilities of sewing with zigzag stitch and you can get your hands on some stretchy fabric, you can make this. So let's just go on over to the sewing center and get started. What I have done so far and what you need to do, put this on your model. In my case, it was my mannequin. I'm making this as a drop waist dress. I want the skirt to fall like at the hips, not at the waist. On my mannequin, from the top of the neck to about her hips is 20 inches. So I'm going to start by cutting the shirt at 20 inches. And I should probably allow for a seam allowance, so I'm going to cut at 21. Now when I measured, I just started from the very top of the collar down. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn this shirt and put it on the 21 inch line. Put this part of the shirt on a line to make it somewhat straight. And I'm just going to cut the bottom off. Oh, here we go. Oh my god. I have to go clean my scissors. They're full of duct tape stuff. I just sprayed them with silicone spray or you can use like WD-40. Just wiped right off. And we should be good. Ah. I do want to mention that I'm going to keep this one simple just for the sake of getting the skirt attached to the t-shirt. You can always alter the t-shirt and I will be doing more of those. Let's just keep this one simple, make a dress. Next one I make, I'd like to, you know, maybe make it a halter top with a skirt. Different ways to put the skirt. You can make a straight skirt, you can make a ruffled skirt, you can make it um, asymmetrical. You can use sheer fabrics to go over a bathing suit. Just so many things you can do. We're going to do them all. Well, we're going to try to do more. Okay, the other thing you need to know is you need your fabric to be at least as wide as the hem of the t-shirt. So this t-shirt measures about 18 across, so 36. So I need this fabric to be at least 36 inches wide. But I'm going to cut it much wider. I'm just going to use the width of the fabric and I can adjust that and cut off any excess after the fact. I might do a little bit of a gather to this, so I want extra fabric. As for the length, on my mannequin, a rough estimate was like 30 inches from the bottom of the t-shirt down. Might be a little too long, might be a little shorter than I wanted. I don't care, we're going with 30. So I'm putting the salvage edges together. Salvage edges are those finished edges, that's how the fabric comes off the bolt. 
So I'm just going to even off this end. And then now I'm just going to measure approximately 30 inches. It was 20, 30, a little notch right there. A little generous, I'm on the generous side. Knit fabrics never have to be hemmed. If you want to keep it easy and just have this raw edge as the hem of the skirt makes it much more flirty and just flutters in the wind. It's very easy to work with knits in that aspect. One way to do this, and it's the way most people do it, is they sew this long piece directly to the t-shirt. What's cumbersome about that is you have to be working like this at your machine and doing a top stitch and you have to be maneuvering this side under your sewing arm and this side, on, I don't like it, it's just complicated. So I do it my way, which I just made up about five minutes ago. <laughs> I'm going to take the bottom of the shirt that I cut off and I like that nice hem that they already had made for us. The hem of the shirt, the way it came, I like that. First I'm going to cut this on one side to open it up. I'm going to want to be sewing this fabric on here and I'm going to do a zigzag like just above the natural hem of the shirt. But I don't want to be sewing in this direction. I want to be sewing in this direction so I can manipulate my stretchy fabric. So I'm going to be going to the machine with this right side down and my hem in that direction and this with right side down. And I'm not going to be concerned with the width of this fabric because I know that as long as I follow this, I'm going to have enough. This is even going to be a little bit too big because the bottom of a t-shirt is always bigger than higher up. So this is all we need as our guide. We're going to sew on this and when we run out of t-shirt fabric, we know we're done. I'm going to sew, well I can show you this other step at the machine, but I'm going to sew like maybe an inch and then I'm going to take a pinch and fold it over to make a gather. And I usually like to do it in opposite directions. I'll show you that at the machine. Let's go get started. So I am taking the bottom part of my t-shirt. Now I didn't, I'm not going to be using all this width, but I'm not going to cut it until I know how much width I do need of it. <laughs> but I'm going to put it right side down. So I'm looking at the inside of the shirt and I want the hem on this side. I'm looking at it, the hem is on the left side and I'm seeing the stitching of the hem. I got the wrong side of the shirt looking up at me. Now I'm going to take my fabric. I'm going to have this right side down. The wrong side is looking up at me. You know what? I'm going to actually sew this fabric. Let me show you. See where the, the hem has like some zigzag stitching already? I'm going to lay my fabric right on there so I will use that same line that they had. That's where they surged. And it'll give me a little bit of a guide. So I'm going to put my fabric right there. I'm just going to start it off. I have a zigzag. You don't want your zigzag to be too long. You want it to be shorter so that it will be able to stretch as needed and also not too wide because sometimes it will skip stitches that way. I highly suggest you just try to find some scrap fabric to play with it before you start sewing. But if you start and it doesn't look good, you have a handy dandy seam ripper that will get you out of your misery. So I'm going to sew like just a little bit and then because I like to make my life difficult, you don't have to do this, you can just sew straight across. I am going to make a little fold. If you can see, I just picked up the fabric a little bit. My fabric is straight. I pinched it and I folded it toward me. So I just made a little fold. I'm going to sew over it. Now I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to fold in the other direction, away from me. Keep alternating toward me. 
You don't have to worry about it being perfectly even and evenly spaced. Doesn't matter. And then away from me. And don't worry if you forget and you accidentally do two in the same direction, like the, the pleats toward you or two away from you. You can even do that on purpose. You can say two this way, two that way, or one this way, two that way, or you can just do them all in the same direction. Doesn't matter. Whatever way you do it is the way it was meant to be. Don't let anybody tell you any different. And of course you are free to pin this before you sew, you could pin all your fabric with your pleats and then come here and sew, but we might not be able to be friends anymore. <laughs> We're getting there. It's a little slow going because I have to stop for the little pinches of fabric, but it's worth it. We think. We hope. We have to wait till we see what it looks like. Wow. I didn't have too much fabric left. It's a good thing I didn't make too many more pleats. And I did want to mention that while I was stitching, I was not stretching the fabric. We don't need to because the fabric is stretchy, both of them. So you just do the zigzag and it's going to allow that to be stretched without the threads breaking because of the lovely zigzag. This is what this looks like on the right side. Now you can see my zigzag line is not perfectly straight. Where are you? Mine is, I think, that bottom zigzaggy line that you see. But who's going to ever notice that? Not this girl. Now let's go see how we can attach this to the t-shirt. I haven't gotten that far yet in, in the planning stages. <laughs> it is the next day, and the next thing we have to do is decide how much we need of this skirt to fit the shirt. So I'm going to take the t-shirt. And I want to measure the bottom. And I see it's just a hair over 18, like maybe 18 and a quarter. So if I double that, I'm going to get 36 and a half inches. I want to allow a quarter inch seam allowance on each side of the skirt, so that's another half inches. So what did I say? 36 and a half inches, a half inch for seam allowance. We're going to be at 37 inches. So I'm going to take the skirt and I'm going to measure the end. 37 inches is 20. I have it on the 20 line, so I know over here if I pinch this, that's 20 inches. Plus 17 is 37. I'm just going to make a notch right here. If you want, just to have less cutting, don't worry about perfectly straight lines for this. If you want, you can just fold it. I see my notch right there, and I'm just cutting. Now while this is still open, I am going to trim this because we don't need this much of the waistband. So I'm going to look at it. I'm just going to trim about a half inch, so I'm just going to leave about a half inch of this above where my stretchy fabric is sewn on. I'm just eyeing it. Now I'm going to put the right sides together and I'm going to sew the side seam with a zigzag stitch all the way down. You could leave a slit if you want, but this is such a flary skirt that I don't think it needs a slit. We'll do side slits another time. I'm going to start at my waist because if the hem is uneven, that's easy to fix. We just trim it. So we want to make sure that the, the waist part is even. And you don't stretch the fabric as you sew. Now we are done that step and I see that we're just a little bit uneven on the hem of the skirt. I'm going to take care of that now. Just going to match up the top as best as I can and lay this flat. And it's just a little bit longer on the back side here, so I'm just going to even that out. I 
I don't think I'm even going to be hemming this because stretchy fabric when you hem it, it, it can pucker a little bit. I just like it long and loose and flowy. So I don't know, I'll decide later. This skirt is going to stay inside out. We're going to have the side seam on the side. We are going to take the t-shirt. Let's see if we did good getting this to be the same width. Yep, pretty darned good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to leave the t-shirt right side out. So do not turn the t-shirt inside out. Just leave it right side out. And we're going to tuck the neck part of it into the skirt. We're going to take one side seam. If your t-shirt doesn't have a side seam, well, when you lay it flat, put a pin there or something so you know where the side is. And we're going to match that up to the side seam here. I'm going to put a pin. And then I'm going to put this side seam of the shirt to where the side of the skirt would naturally be. And that's all I'm going to pin. Now I'm going to go to the sewing machine and I'll show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to sew with the skirt side up so I can follow along the line that I created. I'll probably just put my foot right here along the, the uh, floral fabric and just sew. And I'm just going to make sure that the t-shirt is behind there. That's all I'm going to do is just sew the t-shirt to that. And as you go, you just have to make sure the t-shirt isn't curling. And you also want to make sure that you're not sewing, you know, getting caught on any other fabric. You have to keep that clear. I'm not going to stretch my fabric as I'm sewing. I do still have it on zigzag. And I'm going to put the left side of my little foot along the floral fabric. And I'm making this up as I go. I've never done this before, ever. So we, we don't know how it's going to look on the other side. I'm assuming it'll look okay, especially with black. It's not going to show if we're a little bit crooked, but I don't know. We're just going to try it. I'm so afraid to turn this right side out. I'm trying to decide if I want to go ahead and hem this. I could turn it just once. I prefer it this way, but I'm thinking if I put it on eBay, maybe somebody would prefer it finished. Do I have a piece of scrap that I can try it on? I'm just going to try this little piece of scrap and see how it would come out. I just don't want it to be puckery. I don't like it. I just don't. I'm leaving it unstitched. That is my professional decision. Without looking at this on my own, we're going to flip it and we're going to see if we have a dress. I know we have a dress, I just don't know if it's going to look all yucky around that waist part. Oh my god, it looks awesome! I mean, we can see that there's a seam, but I think it's pretty darned good. You know, it's not, it's, let me change the light. It is not perfect, but it's pretty good. I like it. You guys, I love this so much. It was just so easy to make and just think of all the possibilities. Any stretch shirt would work. Any tank top, any t-shirt, any stretch shirt, and any stretch fabric I have so many ideas of different ways to do this. I'm very anxious to make more. And then look what I did. I took that scrap that I cut off the side of the skirt. I took this and I turned it into a little infinity scarf. It's all just sewn. And then I tied it off with pieces of the t-shirt. I, I just like it so much. I did not hem it. I am not going to hem it, and I am leaving it this length. All the measurements will be in the eBay auction when I list this on eBay, and I will be. I'm not hemming it, so that way the person who wins it, if they can cut it to whatever length they want. It would look super cute as a short skirt. It really would. I'm going to be making all kinds of these, so just wanted to show it to you. I'm going to take a few pictures and Thank you so much for watching, and I will be back with more soon. Bye!
It just dawned on me that I will be able to make Skylar some dresses like this when she's here this summer. I can't wait.